the 1998 Morocco Declaration founded the charter which focuses on professionalism and ethics in the African public service. The charter aspires to ensure quality and innovative service delivery that meets the requirement of all users, encourage the effort of all member states in modernizing administration and strengthening capacity for improvement of public service, encourage citizens and users of public services to actively and effectively participate in public administration processes and to improve the working condition of public service agents and ensure the protection of their Rights. Cabinet Secretary, Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs, Professor Margaret Kobia, the host, started by thanking the African Union Commission for choosing Kenya to host the event. I take the early opportunity to thank the African Union Commission for choosing Kenya to host this important event. It is a privilege to have, the, to have delegates from African countries that are supporting public service and administration to transform the agenda across the continent. At this juncture, I would now like the CS went ahead to point out to the public service ministers in attendance and the delegates the benefit of the charter if implemented. If we all implemented this charter, then we are able to have uniform service delivery for our public service as measured by the citizen who we serve, we serve. This charter will be able to ensure that anybody entering a public office, the way they enter from the entrance to the time they exit, they can be able to see a value chain where efficiency and effectiveness is pronounced so that they are able to finish they are concerned because everybody who goes to a public service office goes for a certain service. They want to be served very fast. The second conference of state parties to the African Charter. Professor Margaret Kobia stated that the charter is critical in line with the Africa's Agenda 2063. Implementation of this charter is critical in transforming public service institutions on the continent for effective, accountable, and quality service delivery desired, drive, desired to drive the continent towards the Africa we want, which is commonly referred to Agenda 2063. The public should be able to get government services fast and convenient, for they are entitled through their tax contribution all hopes are all African countries will ratify the charter and provide guidelines for the running of the public service offices as the continent seeks to attain its set development goals.